Hey everybody. I'm just going to go live on Instagram because I want to share this with them too. Okay. Hey, I'm doing an online class and I thought it would be cool to share it on Instagram. So, so hello, Instagram. I'm sure you'll pop in and out because I'm going to be an hour. And if you pop in and out, that's fine. So, so far, uh, I'm just going to begin and Instagram is going to have the, or sorry, anyone on my computer using Zoom is going to have the benefit of, if they're joining us with Zoom, of seeing my slides. Sorry, Insta, you don't get my slides, you just get my sweet voice and my sweet face. <laughs> okay, so let's dive in and I'm going to introduce myself. I'm going to just share my screen here. Here we go, thank you for joining us. Slideshow. Okay, so our class tonight is about uh, essential oils, obviously, and how to use them to uplevel your health and wellness. Because really, the entryway is aromatic use, you're diffusing them, you're maybe using peppermint to help your headaches. But these essential oils are way more than just tools to make your house smell good, or tools to make your headache go away. There's just so much more to them. So hopefully, uh, I can give you a little bit of insight. And I like to call this webinar how to make over your medicine cabinet, because that's really what I've done is I've over the last four years, basically, since uh, using doTERRA, actually almost five, I have made over our medicine cabinet, and it's awesome. I love it. So I'm super excited to share that with you tonight. Uh, who am I? Those of you, hey, Lauren. Hey, Shannon. Uh, it's going to be a while, so you can come back, go do what you have to do. I'm, I'm doing a webinar, and I thought I would share it on Insta, too. So as you may or may not know, I'm a holistic nutritionist and I'm the blogger, hey, behind SheLetTheMeatCake.com. I love my blog. It is about 10 years old and uh, it's a gluten-free blog with health and wellness tips. If you haven't been there yet, you need to go check it out. I'm also a mom of three and an essential oil educator. I've been studying essential oils daily basically for the last five years and I love them. And I, as a former English teacher, I love learning, 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 and then teaching, teaching, teaching. So my passions are holistic health and wellness, preventative health care. I believe strongly in preventative health care. I think especially once you hit 35 and above, it's time to really dial in your preventative health care. That said, I recently read an article that said millennials are more depressed and less healthy than my generation and the generation above us, which is a super big shame and I think it has a lot to do with the toxins and the way we're letting where the way that we're not leading our our own personal health so it's one of my goals as a nutritionist and essential oil educator to help women feel better and I love doing that so super passionate about that and preventative health care is a big piece to that I'm also really interested in helping other people find health and wellness I love meeting people all along the spectrum. For me, I had when I started with doTERRA, I had already found health and wellness. I knew, you know, I was using a naturopath, I was using osteopathy, I was using food, I was studying nutrition, but essential oils were like the piece that was missing from my life, a therapeutic grade essential oils that is. So doTERRA came on the scene and it was like, this is amazing. And it was like, completed this puzzle of my life and health and wellness. So I love showing other people how to do that at various stages along the spectrum of health and wellness. I'm also really passionate about healthy food. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that. I, I showed my CSA tonight and talked about Circle Organics and they uh, provide our CSA just community shared agriculture just started tonight and we have like a fridge full of green stuff. It's awesome. Also got some locally grown carrots and some radish. So I'm super health, passionate about healthy food. Love the topic of raising healthy kids. I think it has a lot more to do with just food. Health and wellness has a lot more to do with, with than just food. And I'm passionate about creating and cultivating my best life. Every day I'm working on that topic. One of my favorite mantras is when we know better, we, hey, Peterborough Yoga, <laughs> Julia, is that you? Um, when we, one of my favorite mantras is when we know better, we do better. 
So tonight, if you're catching my webinar on Zoom, awesome. If you're catching bits and pieces of me on Instagram, great. Now you're gonna learn this information and now you have the opportunity to make choices going forward. Life is all about making choices, okay? Do I, I'm feeling really full. Do I have the next bite? There's a choice, right? I go to the health foods or I go to the grocery store. Do I continue to buy the toxic laundry detergent? There's a choice, right? Okay, when we know better, we do better. The education is clear. The science is clear. We're, our bodies are experiencing way too many toxins. So that's what I'm here to help you ease your way out of. So what is an essential oil? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about tonight. We're gonna talk about why I think you should choose doTERRA the three ways we use essential oils, the top 10 essential oils for a plant-powered medicine cabinet, how to get doTERRA essential oils into your own home, and how to do one of my favorite and easiest DIYs just in time for teacher gifts. This is a good one for teachers. So what I really wanna make sure that we note before I head into this class is I'm super grateful to live in a world where I think we are so privileged to live in a time where we have the opportunity to use Western medicine and essential oils and health and wellness and take care of ourselves, dial in our own nutrition, our own wellness, so that we can use both methods. It's amazing, right? I love the freedom to be able to go to a naturopath, but to be also, also to take my kid to emerge when I need to. Super privileged, and I'm so grateful for that. I am not a doctor. Instagram is telling me I have five minutes left on Instagram today for my timer. So uh, I am not a doctor. This information is for educational purposes only. Always consult a doctor if you feel uncomfortable and if that's your thing. This is my experience studying essential oils for five years and as a holistic nutritionist and as a teacher and as a mama. So let's dive in. What is an essential oil? So these little brown bottles, essential oils are volatile aromatic compounds, okay? They're highly concentrated extracts found in all parts of the plant. So they might be in the stem, the roots, the leaves, the flowers, the bark, all parts of the plants is where you get the essential oil. So if you think of lemon peel or the lemon plant, lemon peel is where you find the essential oil, okay? If you think of lavender, it's in the flower. So a plant has little oil sacs in it which protect it from disease and predators, super cool. So essential oils are actually what the plant produces to protect itself. And therefore we get that benefit from using essential oils. It's pretty amazing. Essential oils are also used to promote a sense of calm and peace to help our mood, create an emotional response. So many amazing ways to use essential oils and scientifically they affect the limbic system which affects mood, nausea, memory, so great. Okay, so why should you choose doTERRA? Some of you who are watching on Instagram already have chosen doTERRA. I know you because hello there, hello out there in Stilland. I know that you're using doTERRA and I think that's great. When I first started with doTERRA, the main reason I did is because one of my fellow glute, one of my fellow health bloggers at the time started using doTERRA and I really trusted her. I knew that she really valued what she put on her body and what she put in her body and the same thing what she used for her kids. So I trusted her and over the years in learning more and more and more about doTERRA, I've realized how amazing of a company they are. They independently test their essential oils are independently tested, therapeutic grade, okay, meaning you can use them internally, aromatically, and topically. They're safe for that. They're free from fillers, toxic chemicals, artificial ingredients, pesticides, herbicides, chemical residue. doTERRA goes, all our essential oils are varying prices. So if you go to a store and find essential oils that are all the same price, that's a big sign that you don't want to use those essential oils. Essential oils should be different prices. And the reason is they need to be sourced all over the world. And each plant is sourced and harvested differently depending on what the plant is. So frankincense is much harder to harvest then lemon, okay? Lemon, you twist the peel and you've got lemon essential oil. Okay, so our lemon is much cheaper than our frankincense. So doTERRA goes all over the world. Many of our essential oils are harvested in third world countries. 
And the reason why this is, is because they go to where the plant grows best so that we get the most therapeutic value from the plant, okay? So uh, some of our, as I said, some of our essential oils are harvested in third world countries. doTERRA has created a model called co-impact sourcing. And what's great about this is it's kind of like fair trade coffee. They've eliminated the middleman. <clears throat> they allow the farmers who, who have lived there for generations, they're the experts. They don't buy own their own farms because this does not create a good sustainable environment for the farmers, the people who have lived there their whole lives, especially in third world countries. So Tara believes in giving a hand up, not a hand out, okay? And their model for co-impact sourcing, this is foundational, okay? The hand up to help the farmers, to let the farmers maintain control, to teach the farmers better practices, to give them investments and income and regular things that they can expect, okay? So co-impact sourcing, uh oh, we've got a little emergency downstairs. Co-impact sourcing is what, they, what this is called, okay? And they create the best possible income for everyone, okay? This is a beautiful model. If you wanna learn more about it, I recommend you go to source you.com and learn all about this model. And there you can also take your essential oil bottle and get it tested, okay? You can, sorry, see the batch number on the bottom and you'll find the testing there, all right? So that's a little bit about co-impact sourcing. I could create a whole webinar, a whole Insta Live on co-impact sourcing, but I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so let's see, we lost Insta. Uh, we lost Insta for a minute. Yes, through, rolling through those back, those tears. Okay, Insta, I hope you've still got me. Uh, anyways, if someone wants to comment and let me know that you're still there, that would be great. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, I'm just going to do that again. Okay, Insta, I'm back. Sorry, that was because um, I ran out of, I have a limit on my Instagram time and I went over it. So, okay, so three ways to use essential oils. Hopefully those of you who are watching can get back in. There are three ways to use essential oils. The first way is aromatically, and this is one of the most popular ways to use essential oils. We've evolved with aromatic use of essential oils, okay? Hey, you're back. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Um, thank you. So aromatic use, we've evolved this way, okay? We smell, we use essential oils aromatically every day. This is simply just taking a bottle of essential oil, Inhaling, that's aromatic use. Using your diffuser is also aromatic use. Using your diffuser bracelets, also aromatic use, okay? Because you can smell it. I often put essential oils in my hair, also aromatic use. The second way is topical use. So I always recommend people dilute. As I said, I've been studying essential oils for almost five years now. And the research that I have read is that essential oils are best used and best absorbed by the body when diluted. So you take a puddle of fractionated coconut oil in the palm of your hand to use topically, a drop of peppermint, rub your hands together, and apply it to the back of your neck. Okay, that's topical use of essential oils. And I always recommend that people dilute. The body absorbs them better that way. Okay, and the third way is to use them internally. And unfortunately, I don't have my veggie caps up here today. But so I like to take them internally in a veggie cap, which is an empty capsule that you add the essential oils to and take them internally that way. I use them internally every day in my water. I love grapefruit in my water, lemon in my water, a blend called Smart and Sassy in my water. It's really good for our liver. It's good for metabolism. Amazing, it's easier to drink water, it tastes better, so many reasons. And so it, internal is another way too, in our cooking, in our baking, lots of ways to use them internally. So really just by inhaling them is a great way to get essential oils working for you. But if you wanna take it up a notch, I recommend you use them topically, okay? A great way to dilute is in like a cream or a lotion that you already have maybe coconut oil from your family's kitchen, totally up to you. I often use doTERRA has a body lotion that is unscented and I will put a drop in there of essential oil in the body lotion 
and apply it to my legs or wherever I'm moisturizing at the time, okay? All right, so just for some, some safety tips, okay? Uh, I recommend dilution, keep them away from your eyes, wash your hands after, otherwise you might ruin a, a meal or rub your eyes. Less is more, this is so important. With doTERRA, less is more. One of the things about other companies that I've heard is that you need you know, 15 drops of essential oils, 20 drops of essential oils in your diffuser. doTERRA, you really only need a maximum of six drops in your diffuser, and that's plenty, okay? Same with on the body, less is more. So you just wanna use one drop, diluted, and apply it to the body that way. And make sure that you properly store your oils with a cap sealed and away from direct sunlight, okay? You might have to teach people in your family the best way to use, the best way to uh, store your oils, make sure their lids are screwed on and that sort of thing. I keep mine in cases in my bedroom and in my bathroom, and there's some kicking around the other areas of the house, but overall they, they manage to stay in the cases that I have. Okay, so we're gonna dive in and start talking about the essential oils. I picked the top 10 to talk about tonight because they're the most used essential oils and they're the best ones for to start your plant-powered medicine cabinet. So first of all, I just used peppermint. I was feeling quite hot. Our house gets really hot on the second level. And uh, so I, you know, I didn't think to put the air conditioning on before I came up. Hey, Lauren saw feet pass by. Yes, good eye, Lauren. Um, so I, put, I chose peppermint to put on just a minute ago to cool my body. So peppermint, just one drop cools the body down. You can use it for a fever. You can use it this time of weather. If you were going for a run in the middle of the day, you know, it was the only time you could fit it in. Put some peppermint diluted on your body to cool the body off. It's really good for headaches. I used it for headache, a headache today. Again, just dilute it. I actually really like to use the roller bottle. So doTERRA makes uh, all of their, these oils that we're going to talk about tonight in a roller bottle format. And so I will just roll it on my temples and I would recommend that you do it at the back here because uh, then it won't make your eyes water and you won't get it in your eyes. Okay, that menthol component, the minty fresh smell can be hard on the eyes. So um, peppermint is really great to keep in your purse. Okay, always have it with you for cooling off the body, using for headaches. I love to use this in peppermint brownies. It's good for digestion. You can use it in a veggie cap or in a glass of water. If you want to make a chocolate peppermint smoothie, this is so great. It's uplifting when you're feeling low or you're at 3 p.m. and you've got a couple of more hours of work to do before you get through the day. Crack open your peppermint. You know, who just like roll it because this one these roller bottles come diluted you could totally make your own obviously but i just like to buy them pre-made because i'd rather be baking cookies than making my peppermint roller bottle so uh, this will just like cool me off wake me up okay peppermint one of the most popular essential oils another really popular essential oil is lavender we all know what lavender is it's one of the first essential oils that I started with because I had a colicky baby and my sister-in-law who was living in Switzerland at the time recommended that we try lavender for calming. And so the best way to do that, if you wanna use it to calm someone down is to use it aromatically. You can use it in the diffuser. You can use it by making a little spritz for the bedroom, for the pillows. You can apply it to the bottom of the feet, diluted for calm and relaxation. It's really high in a component called linalool, which is calming. It's very well known as like being uh, flowery and a natural perfume. People who have allergies generally have allergies or have general, generally have allergies to fragrance, not essential oils because fragrance is created in a lab. Essential oils are plant-based, okay? They're created by plants. So lavender is really calming for sleep, but that linalool component also is really good for our skin. So we're using, the, the biggest way we're using this right now is, the reason why I, uh, Instagram, just so you know, the reason why I'm looking up is because I'm doing a webinar. <clears throat> so I'm looking at my webinar screen also. Okay, so lavender we've been using like crazy in the roller bottle format for bug bites. It's so good for bug bites. It's really soothing, it takes the itch away. It's also really good for burns, okay? so great if you have redness or irritation in your skin, any kind of owie, 
uh, your kids scrape their knees, lavender is a great one to add to take care of that, okay? Because this is so calming for the skin. So any redness, think of lavender, okay? Also really good for anxiety. So I have a friend whose daughter takes her roller bottle to school and uses it for anxiety and swears by it. It's been so helpful for her and um, made such a difference. <clears throat> a tool that she's gonna grow up with to help support her school anxiety. So next one is lemon. Mm, lemon is so fresh and summery. We've been waiting all year for this weather. Diffusing lemon in the winter and in the late spring to try and help us tide over to this beautiful sunshiny weather. It comes from the rind, as I said, you just twist a, a lemon and the uh, oil comes out, okay? So it's cold pressed. The aroma is fresh, citrusy, bright, uplifting. It's high in limonene, which is really cleansing. So it's cleansing for surfaces, but it's also cleansing for us internally. So it's really good to put in a glass of water, to put in, um, you can put it in like a guacamole. If you don't have any lemons in the house, you can put it in smoothies. So lovely, it really just like strengthens uh, the flavor like you wouldn't believe, you've got to try it. <coughs> so I really like adding this to my cleaning spray too. If I have stinky garbage or, or, or a stinky cloth, I'll put a drop in that. So many uses for lemon. It will take Sharpie out. It will take stains out. It will take the sticky off of your new wine glasses or your new summer glasses that you got for your backyard. Lemon is one that you can't live without. And as far as the medicine cabinet goes, that internal cleansing is what it's really good for, detoxifying. Tea tree is another great one that is really well known. Also one that I knew really well, mostly because um, of zits. So it's really good for zits. So you can dilute it. And ooh, Lauren says put a drop of lemon, hopefully not tea tree, no, probably a drop of lemon in beer. That would probably be great. Um, tea tree is really good for zits. It's antibacterial, antifungal. So if you have any, you know, if you went to a, a outdoor or indoor swimming pool and you got some sort of fungus on your foot, treat it daily with diluted tea tree. Uh, also dilute your tea tree for your zits. I have some in the bathroom just for that use. It's really good. My kids are using it for their zits. Tea tree is well known for lice. So if you want, if you're, if you get a letter home from school, you're going to just put a drop in the kid's hair, massage it in. You can put it in their shampoo bottle, which naturally dilutes it. It's antibacterial. So it's good if someone is getting sick or it is sick, get diluted and rub it on the bottom of their feet and it helps the body fight any kind of bacteria that is, um, I, I see that Lauren <laughs> Lemon, uh, that is trying to take over the body, okay? It's really cleansing also, so you can add it to like a cleanser. If you have trouble with it, it's so good for that. It's really herbaceous. You're not going to diffuse it a ton. Okay, next up is oregano, which plays so well with tea tree. Doesn't really smell that great. I actually still have the, can feel the peppermint on my lip. So I'm, it, it's amazing how tingly it still is and how it's kept keeping me like super high alert. Hopefully it wears off by bedtime. Okay, so back to oregano. Oregano is uh, also herbaceous. It's a hot oil, meaning if you're going to take it internally because it's really good for, with tea tree for fighting colds and flus, take it internally in a veggie cap. If you put it under your tongue, you're going to burn your mucous membranes like Lauren Miller's husband did when they first got their oregano and burned his ah, breathed fire um, because he burned his mucous membranes. So this is one that you really need to like uh, use in a veggie cap or use diluted on the body or, you know, put it, put it in a little bit of carrier, like some olive oil and shoot it, shoot it back in a little bit of water. I like to use it in uh, my spaghetti sauce. I know that it works really well in a green salad, like a Greek salad recipe, okay? So that's oregano. Again, not one that you're gonna wanna diffuse very often unless, you wanna, if, unless you're going after the Italian restaurant smell in your home. <laughs> so oregano and tea trees, keep these two in your medicine cabinet for when cold and flu season comes upon us. Okay, frankincense. 
Frank the Tank. Frankie, Frank, we love Frank. He's the king of oils. Uh, warm, a little bit spicy, also high in limonene. <clears throat> so good for our immune system, our nervous system, our digestive system, a healthy cellular response. <coughs> promotes peace and relaxation, been used for hundreds of thousands of years, can be taken internally like it, and then it acts a little bit like a multivitamin. It helps create a healthy cellular environment for our cells. Really good if you need relaxing, really good in the diffuser at bedtime, really good on the bottom of the feet. Again, if you were getting sick or if you had something, it would be a great one to use with the oregano and tea tree. A drop of each in the veggie capsule, take it internally, and help fight any sort of thing that is annoyingly trying to take you over. Tea tree is really good for our skin, too, anti inflammatory, and it'll help reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles and skin imperfections. So, I strongly recommend when you get your kit that you try adding a drop to the palm of your hand with your moisturizer in it for anti-aging inflammation properties for the skin and use it on your skin. Anoint yourself with beautiful frankincense essential oil. doTERRA smells like nothing else. I was at the yoga festival on Saturday and I went, there was another company there and I went to smell their oils because I hadn't really had much opportunity to do so. And I was very curious because I had recently heard that uh, some of their essential or one of their essential oils especially came back as being adulterated. None of doTERRA's did for the record. And so I went and smelled and frankincense was one of the ones that I smelled and it just smelled kind of gross. It did not smell the same. So you'll get your doTERRA frankincense and you will be so shocked at this, how great it smells in comparison to what you may or may not have been using. If you see a bottle of frankincense essential oil that is $15, it's not pure, don't waste your money on it, okay? If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments on Instagram. If you have any questions on the webinar, please pop them in the uh, chat section. Next up, we're gonna talk about Easy Air. So we're getting into the blends. So the essential oils that we were just talking about, the last six, were single essential oils. And now we're gonna talk about blends. So doTERRA has put more than one essential oil in the bottle for its health benefits, okay? So in this case, this is Easy Air. In the United States, it's known as Breathe. And Easy Air has laurel leaf, peppermint, eucalyptus, ravensara, which is great for opening the airways, tea tree, lemon, cardamom, uh, and um, ravensara. So it is minty, it's a little bit spicy. Oh, thanks Lauren, that's so nice of you to say. Um, it, it opens the airways. We use this year round because it's so good for sinuses, for allergies, for sleeping. It, yeah, I, I pretty much every night put two drops of this in our diffuser with some other essential oils. You might use lavender, you might use frankincense, two drops of lavender, two drops of frankincense, and two drops of easy air from your kit. Right away, you have this amazing essential oil diffuser blend that is super supportive for your sleep. I would totally be trying that the first night that you get your kit. Okay, so Easy Air is so good year round, all right? Especially when your sinuses are stuffed, cold and flu season. So my daughter has been suffering from allergies, so we put this on her regularly. My son has a cold right now, so we're putting it on his chest. It's like a tight cough, and this is really helping him. You can put three drops, or one drop really is all you probably need in the base, in, in your shower, and it'll just like, light up the room with this beautiful aromatic airway opening aroma. So good in the diffuser and so good topically to make a non-toxic Vicks vapor rub. So again, just dilute it in the palm of your hand and rub it on the chest. Okay, next is an oil. It's the one oil that I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to bring up Zengest. I've been doing that lately. I've been forgetting some of the key oils. And Zengest is a key oil. Zengest is a blend with ginger. Obviously, a Zengest. It's for Zen digestion. Okay, so a blend of essential oils that are good for digestion and are anti-inflammatory. Okay, so ginger, peppermint, caraway, coriander, anise, tarragon, and fennel. So it has that like black licorice smell. This, my husband loves this one, he swears by it. <coughs> we love the roller bottle version. Comes pre-diluted, 
all you have to do is roll it on your belly. I know why this is actually not up here is because um, it's beside my bed because I heard this tip that for people with allergies, it's really good to put on the bridge of their nose. And as I said earlier, our littlest has allergies. So I've been using it on her at bedtime and it's really helping opening up her airways. Is that inflammation piece and the peppermint likely, right? The menthol. So um, uh, Zen Jess is really good for digestion. You can take it internally in a glass of water or in a tea or in the veggie caps. You can just rub it on topically diluted and it, it usually is instant relief. It's great when you're feeling bloated, when you've had some discomfort in your abdomen, when you're traveling and you maybe get nausea or seasickness, things like that, okay? So Zengest is essential for your plant-powered medicine cabinet. We do not travel without taking Zengest because you know when you're traveling, you go somewhere, <clears throat> you go out for dinner, don't eat the same way, you don't want to get anyone to get sick. It's just a really great one to have on hand. Okay, On Guard is like one of our powerhouses. We have quite a few powerhouses, but On Guard is one of our powerhouses. And this is the protective blend, okay? You can see in the screen on my computer, <clears throat> there's so many uses. There's so many, doTERRA has a variety of On Guard products because it's so supportive of the immune system. It's really high in antioxidants. And that makes it really good for the immune system. So it comes in, we have a cleaner concentrate that's on guard. We have um, drops that you can take when you're getting sick or when you are sick, like throat drops. We have beads, we have soap, we have toothpaste, we have mouthwash, we have the essential oil, all kinds of things with the on guard in it. On guard is a blend of clove, wild orange, cinnamon, uh, eucalyptus, ro and rosemary. Okay, so this very harvesty fall smelling blend and is really essential in late August as you gear up for the school cold and flu season coming to I don't want to talk about it yet because we haven't even I know I know I know it's June but I'm just letting you know that like you're going to get your kit and the, the on guard will sit there for a little bit and then at the end of August you'll start using it to boost everyone's immune system and get geared up for cold and flu season so that you can have your healthiest cold and flu season yet. It really protects the body against environmental threats, it helps the immune system, the respiratory system, natural antioxidant defenses, really good for circulation, uplifting and energizing aroma, so many uses, okay? So you would apply it topically to the bottom of your feet or to the bottom of your kids' feet before they go to bed, before they go to school. Um, you can diffuse it during cold and flu season, you diffuse it in the morning with some uh, peppermint to try and get the kids up and going and out the door. So hopefully we're not going to have colds for much longer. We should have a little break from cold and flu season and uh, we won't need our on guard until late summer, but we won't talk about late summer yet. Okay, we're almost done here. I'm talking about deep blue now. Okay, so this is deep blue rub. Deep blue is a mix of wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, blue tansy, Ylang Ylang, it's such an incredible aroma. German chamomile. And then this, the rub has helichrysum and osmanthus, okay? And so the rub is really good for, uh, well, deep blue is the muscle and tension pain blends, okay? So the, it comes in an oil, but it also comes in the deep blue rub. And the oil is great for adding to your own lotion, or you can just get the deep blue rub. And if you have any sort of tension or pain, you just take a little bit in the palm, in the, on your fingertip and rub it on the back of your neck and it feels so, so, so good for any kind of tension. And just, as I said earlier, less is more. So a little dab will do you. You massage it in, you can give your partner or your loved ones a massage. Really good in the summer for before a workout on a hot day, before and after a workout, during the workout, so good. You can diffuse it. I have a, a customer who just started and they really liked deep blue, so they got it to diffuse. Um, and they wanted like that fresh, clean scent, and that's what it has, really minty and camphor, okay? So, so important for people who have any sort of pain, tension. We use it a ton. We, we have about three of these floating around the house. My daughter, who is a dancer, has one um, in her bedroom. We have one in the, in the bathroom, one in our bedroom. 
So this, you just always want to have this in reach. Okay. Awesome blend. So there it is, the deep blue rub. Okay, so now I want to talk about, I sort of want to see what time it is here. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it, that. I'm just going to keep going. So uh, the, now I'm going to talk about how you get doTERRA's essential oils, okay? So the first way that you can get them is to get them at retail price, okay? Very few people do that. Once in a while, I would say one out of 100, get them at retail price, if that. The best way to get them is, at, is by getting your own account, your own membership, and it's a year-long membership, and it gets you 25% off whenever you want to order. So there's no monthly order requirements. There's no, you can order once, or you can order 10 times, or you can order 100 times in your year, and you get 25% off. You get to be a part of our community of about 300 people, uh, and we also have a greater community that has over 100,000 people that you can just use as resources. You can ask for ideas. You can, we'd love to support you. We give you opportunities to host classes. We invite you to for more classes. We do DIYs. I nourish you. I get to like spoil you with essential oil goodies. When I welcome you into our community and you sign up with us, we give you a little welcome pack. You get a beautiful resource guide from doTERRA with all the essential oils and how to use them. And this is what happens when you get your account, okay? So the enrollment kits include the membership price, okay? If you don't get an enrollment kit, that's fine. You just have to pay the $42 Canadian and get a membership, okay? So that's the benefit of getting an enrollment kit is that you don't have to pay that membership because it's bundled in there, okay? So let's talk about the uh, enrollment kits. Aroma Touch Diffuse is a great kit. It's a really good price point for people who, whose budget won't allow them to get the best bundle, okay? But they really want to get started. And what people really like about this kit is the diffuser, okay? It comes with the diffuser so you can get some essential oils and be up and running. This one has five milliliter bottles. So if you look at these bottles, they are 15 milliliter bottles. So they have 250 drops. In this kit, the Aroma Touch Diffuse kit, you're getting five milliliter bottles, okay? It's $180 Canadian. And in that kit, you get lavender, peppermint, tea tree, wild orange, Aroma Touch, Balance, Deep Blue, and On Guard. Plus, you get a fractionated coconut oil. You get the diffuser, our petal diffuser, and you get the booklet, which is somewhere. Here it is. Here's the booklet that you get when you join, okay? And in it, you also get some cap stickers, okay? Really awesome booklet with ways on how to use each oil. So that is the Aroma Touch Diffuse Kit. It's $180 Canadian plus tax and shipping. Shipping is always $6 if you're in Canada. It's cheaper if you're in the US and it really does, it doesn't matter what the weight is, okay? Family Essentials and Smart and Sassy Kit is another really popular kit. Okay, actually, it's not smart and sassy anymore. You get two peppermint beadlets, and beadlets are like mints, okay, that have a little, about half a drop of peppermint in them, and it freshens your breath. It helps with indigestion. They're really awesome. Wakes you up, whatever. So the Family Essentials Kit, very popular, also a good price point at $185 Canadian, okay? Gets you the membership, gets you the booklet, gets you the community, gets you me as your support and resource and teacher and if whatever, you know, if you want that, if you don't, if you need that, great. If you don't, that's fine too. Uh, so this kit has five milliliter bottles of all the essential oils that we just talked about. Okay, so frankincense, lavender, lemon, oregano, peppermint, tea tree, deep blue, easy air, on guard, and zen jest. Okay, the only difference between that and the last kit, hello Amanda Valley, I'm just at the end here. so maybe wait until I go back when until it's all recorded and you might be able to get some more information from earlier because you're already using doTERRA so um, it comes with five mils and so the, the, the difference is that it has 10 of the top 10 essential oils and no petal diffuser okay but you get frankincense in this one and you didn't get it in the last one Okay, so now the Aromatics Diffuse is also a great kit, and it comes with all our um, aromatherapy, emotional aromatherapy essential oils. It comes with five milliliter bottles of Cheer, Console, Forgive, Motivate, 
passion, and peace. And these are blends to help support the emotions. It also comes with the petal diffuser and the booklet. Okay, and that's $248.25 Canadian plus tax and shipping of $6. And then the most popular kit is the Home Essentials Kit. You save about $90 when you get this kit. And don't forget that the, your membership is included. And it comes with 15 mil bottles of the top 10, all the ones that we talked about tonight. Okay, so 15 mil bottle of frankincense. The only one that's five mil is deep blue because that's all they sell it in. It also comes with the petal diffuser and the booklet. And this month until the end of June, so for a few more days, if you get this kit, you get a free bottle of balance, a free bottle of aroma touch, and a free bottle of past tense. And past tense is their headache blend, another great roller bottle blend that you can just apply to the temples if you have a headache. It's so great for that. And rub it in. And it really helps the headache. Okay, any tension if you back of the neck. Peppermint and past tense are really great for people who are hot or overheat, people who are going through menopause, that sort of thing. Balance is their grounding blend. I love it. It's one of my most pop favorite essential oils. It's a blend of whole wood, blue tansy, frankincense, and it's already diluted. So you can just put it in the palm of your hand and start using it right away. Okay, I like to use this one as perfume. I'll put it in the ends of my hair and then I catch whiffs of it throughout the day. So that's balanced. It's really good in the diffuser too. And then you also would get, if you got the Home Essentials Kit, a free bottle of Aroma Touch, which is really, is the massage blend. It's really good for like aches and pains, leg aches. I love it in the bath. It's actually, it has basil in it. So it's really nice in the diffuser. I love the smell of, of Aroma Touch. I'll put one drop in the bath with some Epsom salt and a little bit of body wash. And I love that. That's my favorite bath oil. Okay, so hey, Aidy, we're just at the end here. So, um, uh, okay, so those are the most popular kits. There's more kits if you're interested, I could send you them. In order to get these oils, so for those of you who are on Instagram, you won't be able to see my screen for my, the people who are doing the Zoom webinar with me, but I've put a link up there if you want to sign up right away. If you're on Instagram and you're interested in learning more, send me a message. If you're interested in getting a link, I'll put a link in my bio for you so you can sign up today and pick your kit. But I would love for you to reach out to me. I would be happy to help you choose your kit, help you choose which oils you're going to get next. If you're already using oils, you those of you who are watching know that I am more than happy to help you figure that out, give you a sample, let you smell something. Uh, whatever you need. Okay, that's what I'm here for. That's the role and that's the benefit of signing up with doTERRA as you get someone like me to help support you. So here is the bath salt recipe that would be a great teacher gift. Okay, so if you're on Instagram, you're going to need to get a pen and paper and write it down. If you're on my webinar, then you can see it on the screen. So I, I like to use a mason jar for this, but you can get like a repurpose a jar. You can get a funky jar at Michael's or Home Sense or something like that, but I keep it simple usually with mason jars or repurposed jars. And use three quarters of a cup of Epsom salts, a teaspoon of baking soda, which just helps the body absorb the magnesium, and a maximum of six drops of essential oils. Pick your favorite one. So I would recommend lavender, maybe peppermint, and they could do like, a, you could call it a teacher's foot soak. You could do frankincense for like a frankincense and lavender for a calming grounding. You could do lemon for an uplifting bath. You could do on guard for a keep it healthy bath. If you get balance, this is a great one to put in Epsom salts to put in the bath. So lots of oils. And then those of you on Instagram who are already following and already using doTERRA, then you have, I know you have a collection of essential oils that you could use in this recipe three quarter cup of Epsom salts, a teaspoon of baking soda, a six a maximum of six drops of essential oils. Stir it up in the mason jar, put a lovely sticker on it or get your son or daughter to like make a cute card, wrap it in a bow and there's a great little add on to your teacher's gift for the end of the year. Okay, so if you wanna reach me outside of tonight's class, thanks to those of you who watched. Um, I, you can join my Facebook community. It's called um, 
just search, go, just go to Facebook and search Maggie essential oil and it should come up. And uh, you can contact me at maggiesavage at me.com. You can send me a message on Instagram. I'm maggiesavage1. And if you want to join my team, I can put a link in the bio too of Instagram. So thank you to those of you who watched on Instagram. Thank you to those of you who watched the webinar. I hope that you have a great night. I hope you got some great information. And I see that my daughter just joined and she should be going to bed. Live Savage. Okay, have a great night, everybody. Thanks for the opportunity to share.